The film It was released in 1927. This stars Clara Bow. This is the film that gave Clara Bow her famous nickname, the It Girl. <laughs> now, this film was based off of a story that was in a magazine. It was a two-part story titled It by Eleanor Glenn. And Eleanor Glenn actually appeared in the film. But what's interesting about the story is actually it started with Rudyard Kipling in 1904 with his short story, uh, Mrs. Bathurst. And he introduced the concept of it. And the whole idea, what he said is it isn't beauty, so to speak, nor good talk necessarily. It's just it. Some women will stay in a man's memory if they once walk down the street. Now, then in, uh, in the 20s, Cosmopolitan published what uh, Eleanor Glenn defined as it. And what she said is that quality possessed by some which draws all others with its uh, magnetic force. With it, you win all men if you are a woman and all women if you are a man. It can be a quality of the mind as well as a physical attraction. So basically, <laughs> The idea of it, for someone to have it, and, and what's funny about this movie is, you know, there is the question of, well, what is it? Because they actually bring the story into the movie. <laughs> and uh, I, I love that whole point of it. And um, I won't give away too much. I, I try not to, but it, it, it's very comical, actually. And they do question, they're like, well, what is it? For a woman to have it, what does that mean? And basically, it's like when a woman stands out. And, and uh, so, I mean, <laughs> instead of her, uh, you know, for, for a, a man to do a double take, basically, you know, and, and you can't get her out of your mind. And uh, it doesn't mean that she has to uh, conform to society or anything like that and, uh, and like that. If that makes sense, I hope that does. So with this story, Clara Bow plays a character by the name of Betty Lou Spence. She works at a department store. And uh, much like uh, what you would have seen in... Um, Macy's, I mean, uh, Macy's, <laughs> Miracle on 34th Street. Too many M words in my brain. And she has, she is very attracted to her employer. And <laughs> we have to remember that Clara Bow was a flapper during this time, one of the many flapper actresses of the time. And as only Clara Bow can do in her movies, she is flirting with her employer in the movie. <laughs> you know, sometimes I watch her movies and the, the few that have survived, and I wonder sometimes if it's her and <laughs> if it's just her and, <laughs> and everyone else is acting around her. But, um, Anyway, so she, she's flirting with uh, the, her employer, and, and she's trying really hard to, to get his attention, and she really wants to date him and everything. Now, the other thing to understand is she's living, she's middle class, and she's, uh, she's living in this apartment. Her roommate is unwed and has a baby, and of course, you have to understand at that time, that wasn't, yeah, that was frowned upon. Well, she's very protective of her roommate, and 
and does everything she can to, to help her roommate. Well, at some point, it's found out about the the roommate having a child and and everything. And so she comes in and she says that the baby is hers so that the uh, roommate doesn't get into any kind of trouble. And this is the kind of personality that you see with Betty Lou. And she's willing to jump in and help others and everything. And so, and it actually impresses her employer that much more. I mean, they had gone on a date and then it, anyway. Now, this movie, I mean, this is one of, another one of those movies that it was, uh, it, it broke box office records at the time and uh, critics loved it. Absolutely loved it. I loved it. I mean, <laughs> it was one of those movies that I had heard about. Of course, we all know uh, Clara Bow has her nickname, so I decided to sit down and watch it. I absolutely loved it. I think the story is really sweet and and everything again i think it's what <laughs> i i really do i think that they they give her a script and they're like you know what you can just be yourself and <laughs> and we'll act around you <laughs> and um but uh again this this gave her her nickname and and uh so but I, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. And I'm glad that it was not one of her lost films because it, it is, it's, it's a sweet story. And I can see why people loved it and why it gave her her nickname. So, um, but, and, and, and I was uh, pleasantly surprised to see that, it, that the concept of the, it girl went as far back as Rudyard Kipling because I'm a huge fan of Rudyard Kipling so um I just never really connected that and of course Eleanor Glenn is in the film that was a wonderful surprise I highly recommend watching it just to see how all of that ties in because again they do reference the story and everything else it, it's just it's it's a wonderful, I have nothing bad to say about this film. <laughs> I really don't. It's sweet. It's fun. It's, I, I can see why people loved it. Because uh, I didn't see anything bad said about this movie. Uh, the critics loved it. And um, so anyway, that is it. It was released in 1927.